All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Rick Hogue, Jim Hodge, and Joe Mavaro. They're a part of this amazing branch of the Vietnam Veterans of North America, Chapter 862. Their home here is at the Rochester VFW 128 on Virginia Avenue. And today, obviously, the parade and celebration. Now, you met Joe the other day, and Jim was there as well. 7,000 flags they placed, and also a big shout-out to the local Walmart because they enabled them to sell Buddy Poppies, and we appreciate that. Now, Rob Pratt Monday night starts at 7 o'clock tonight with the Allegheny Health Network program at Best Of Edition with Dr. Gerald Pfeiffer. 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be joined by Steve Monteleone. It's all about the Warriors Foundation and a Vietnam veteran, Tony Accomando, friends of Da Nang. 9 o'clock hour, Drew Monyo, whose father was a veteran of World War II, takes a look at the upcoming movies this holiday season. And movies are one thing, but reality is another thing. And Rick spent 11 months in Vietnam and, of course, for many years, for decades, worked for my friends at AAA Travel. Of course, they have an office here in Rochester. As you went into the service, uh, obviously you came back 11 months later. Your night, your life was never really the same, was it? No, never, ever. It won't be. That's why it's so important for places like this to continue to let people know the significance of the Vietnam veteran. Right? You're exactly right. And, and any veteran, not just a Vietnam veteran, any veteran, been in combat. We got the Desert Storm, we call them uh, Sandbox. There's a nickname I give them, Sandbox. That's the guys who went on a rock and stuff like that. Right. So, it's not just the Vietnam veterans, it's any veteran. Joe, we talked up at the uh, cemetery the other day about your time in the Navy and looking back on that period in your life. When you come and celebrate a day like today, it is really about getting together with friends and family, but it's hard to forget the significance of that chapter of our country's history, right? Rob, it's more of a commemorate. Uh, we commemorate the lives of the Americans that uh, shed their blood and give their lives from all wars and uh, we're just glad to be here to do this for them. You know, if you think about that time in our country's history from 1960, when President John Kennedy was elected in that inauguration in 61, when he talked about, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country, and talking about putting a man on the moon by the end of the decades, and then of course, November 22nd, 1963, when he was tragically killed, Lyndon Baines Johnson carried on his message of the civil rights movement. One thing's for sure, in a foxhole in Vietnam, it was brother, with brother, shoulder to shoulder, no matter the color of someone's skin or their religious beliefs. And I hope that we can learn from Veterans Day as we move forward and Memorial Day on a day like today, on these two days when we pay tribute to our military, it was never about the color or the race of anyone. It was about standing together and fighting for that one common cause. United we stand and to keep our country unified. By the way, HBO right now has an amazing movie out, part of Steven Spielberg's amazing brand called All The Way, talking about Lyndon Baines Johnson carrying on the civil rights movement and how Dr. Martin Luther King and him worked together to get that bill passed. So one thing you have to understand, people have been fighting from all aspects for years to make this a better country, not just as soldiers, but as politicians too. So I want to salute all of those who are either at local government, state government, or in the nation's capital trying to make it a better world. And I hope whoever the next president is, they will continue to fight for veterans everywhere. And Jim, as we close, the new commander here, it is important that we continue to fight for veterans' rights, right? Right. We have, like on our post now, we're starting to indoctrinate Afghan veterans, Iraq veterans, Persian Gulf War veterans, and they're getting involved in our VFW now too. And we got to keep that tradition going because the rest of us are getting older. Well, listen, I can't thank you enough. Always a busy day for me, but no one is more hospitable and makes time than these gentlemen and what they do here. So this is the doorway, and I hope that you will find some time to come over and see what they're all about, the Rochester VFW, home of the Vietnam Veterans of North America, Chapter 862. We salute you, and God bless America. Have a great day, everybody.